So you're thinking about moving to Western Washington and find yourself contemplating the Seattle area versus the Bellingham area. Well, in this video, we're gonna compare and contrast these two great cities to help you understand which will meet your needs and preferences the best. And we're gonna get started right now. So right. you're likely aware Bellingham is located approximately 90 miles north of Seattle on I-5. That trip typically takes about 90 minutes if there is no traffic and can take more like two to two and a half hours if you hit traffic, slowdowns, accidents, rush hour travel times, etc. But they are relatively close, and given that they are relatively close, there are of course quite a few similarities between life in Seattle and life in Bellingham, particularly as it pertains to things like weather. But in this video, again, we wanna dive in, compare and contrast to help you better understand which might meet your preferences based on 10 key categories. Let's dive into that now. All right, so diving in, the first thing that we'll talk about is population size. Now, the population of Seattle is approximately 750,000, with the population of Bellingham being roughly 90,000. Now, these numbers do not take into consideration King County as a whole or Whatcom County as a whole. They're just isolated specifically to the city of Seattle and the city of Bellingham. So compare and contrast, the population size is approximately eight times that of Bellingham. And as you might imagine, that comes with uh, increased population density, increased uh, cultural diversity, as well as more of a hustle and bustle feel that you can expect when living in Seattle. Compare and contrast to the population size in Bellingham, it's a little bit more laid back, uh, less traffic, less congestion, more likely to run into the same people, see friends around town uh, as you may be in the Seattle area. So if if you're accustomed to living in a big city, that's where you live now and you're relocating from another major metropolitan area, well then Seattle may very well feel like home to you based on just the hustle and bustle that we've previously alluded to. Versus if you're coming from a very small town, well then of course a population of 90,000 might seem like a lot to you and Bellingham may feel uh, to some degree like a big city. It's all relative to what you're accustomed to or what your preferences are. But population size in Bellingham, 90,000 versus population in Seattle, 750,000. Next on our list, we wanna talk a little bit about the cost of living. Now, one of the key metrics that we often refer to when we're talking about cost of living is the cost of a home. So as of the time recording this video, September of 2024, the median sales price in the Seattle market is roughly $900,000. The range is something like 850,000 to 1 million versus the median sales price in the Bellingham market being somewhere in the ballpark of 650 to $700,000. So compare and contrast, your dollar does go a bit further here in Bellingham as compared to Seattle. This will also be true of rent. Your, your market rents are going to be higher in Seattle than they are in Bellingham. And this will have a trickle down effect with regards to uh, the cost of you know, things like groceries, entertainment, that are correlated in some way, shape, or form to the higher housing costs, the higher cost of living that will impact some of those activities uh, and entertainment options as well. Next on the list, we wanna talk a little bit about transportation. Now, it should come as no surprise to you that Seattle, just like any other major city, does have a large population, which results in increased traffic and congestion, particularly when it comes to uh, rush hour travel times. I will say that as Bellingham has continued to grow, we do see a slowdown on I-5, both in the morning commute and the evening commute. And of course, if there is some sort of an accident on the freeway, well then that's gonna slow things down as well. Generally speaking, your daytime travel uh, in the greater Bellingham area is going to be smooth and easy. But from the transportation perspective, uh, where, where Seattle definitely takes first place is with regards to public transportation as compared to Bellingham. They have the light rail, they have the ferry system, they have their bus system. There's a lot of different ways for you to get around. Of course, all of like the scooters and the bicycles that are available just via apps and, and just located throughout the city for your use. Versus in Bellingham, really all that we have is uh, our public transportation system through WTA, which is our, our Whatcom Transit Authority, providing bus service throughout the county. So I do have family that lives in the Seattle area. They're in the suburbs. It's really easy for them to get in and out of the city using public transportation that makes their commute much easier. It lets them work and take care of other tasks during that commute. That's something that Bellingham can't touch in terms of public transportation. But compare and contrast, you are definitely going to experience more traffic, more congestion, longer wait times, longer travel times in Seattle as compared to Bellingham. Category four on our list is employment. Now this is another category where of course Seattle's gonna take first place with regards to the abundance of employment that's gonna be available in the surrounding area. Seattle is a tech hub, it's an aerospace hub, it's a healthcare hub. You've got companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Boeing. So there's a lot of jobs and job opportunities that are available in the greater Seattle area. Here in Bellingham, uh, one of our largest employers is gonna be St. Joseph's Hospital. Another would 
be Western Washington University. We do have the, the refineries that are here in the area, some of the largest employers in the county. There are good jobs that are available in Bellingham, but they're definitely going to be fewer and further between as compared to the greater Seattle area. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, we encourage you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you can keep up on all the content that we're releasing about Bellingham and Whatcom County and all the great things that are going on here in this area. My name is Jeff Engen. I'm with MJB Real Estate Group here in Bellingham. And every day we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you considering a move to this area, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving tomorrow, 10 months from now, or sometime in between, we encourage you to reach out. You can find all of our contact information below, and we are standing by and ready to help in any way that we can. I also want to share that we have a brand new free relocation guide, no strings attached. It's a guide we put together to help you better understand this area and if it might be the right spot for you. But for now, let's get back to talking about compare and contrast between Bellingham and Seattle. Number five on our list is climate. Now you can reasonably expect that the climate in Seattle and Bellingham are going to be very similar, though I would say that the temperatures are a bit lower in Bellingham than they are in Seattle. So this is both true in the summer months, when we get high temperatures, Seattle might be up into the, the mid to upper 80s. Well, Bellingham is in the high 70s, low 80s. It's also true in the winter months when Seattle might be 33 and raining and Bellingham might be 28 and snowing. Our proximity to the mountains, particularly Mount Baker, does put us into a slightly different climate. But as far as average rainfall, number of sunny days versus cloudy days, etc., you can reasonably expect that things will be very similar between Bellingham and Seattle. Number six on our list is outdoor activities and access to nature. Now, regardless of where you are in the Pacific Northwest, there is always going to be beauty and nature close by. But I would say this is one area where Bellingham takes the lead with regards to having immediate access to nature versus being in the Seattle downtown core area and having to travel a bit to get to the mountains, to get to trail systems, things of that nature. So whereas you might have to hop in your car and take a short drive in the Seattle area to find yourself a hiking, biking trail, really the trail systems and access to places like Galbraith Mountain, Chuckanut Mountain are all readily accessible immediately out of Bellingham proper. Um, so if you're looking for an area where you can quickly and easily enjoy the outdoors, well, you're not going to go wrong in either spot. But I would say that Bellingham provides more immediate access to outdoor activities and nature than being in the core Seattle area. Next on the list is our cultural scene. Now, of course, this is a category where Seattle is going to take the lead, whether it's major sporting venues, concert venues, theaters, restaurants. There's a lot more going on in Seattle, a lot more variety and opportunity for you to get out and be entertained than there is here in the Bellingham area. Now, with that said, Bellingham does hold its own with regards to the different sporting events, albeit minor league as opposed to major league and theater events, which we really only have the Mount Baker Theater and some smaller music venues. Um, but there is a lot going on here in Bellingham. One of the things that I talk often in my videos about is Bellingham being a great spot where you've got access to Vancouver, BC, just about an hour north and Seattle about 90 minutes, maybe two hours south. So if you live in Bellingham and are occasionally looking for opportunities to go to a concert, to a sporting event, et cetera, well then it's not that big a deal to head north or to head south to be able to take advantage of those opportunities. If you're someone who wants to walk out of your door and within 15 to 20 minutes be at that concert venue, be at that sporting event, well then Seattle, of course, is going to be the spot for you. Number eight on our list is proximity to Canada. Now there's a lot of people, especially Canadians or US citizens with family in Canada who look specifically at Whatcom County as an opportunity to be close to Vancouver, but still have all of the amenities afforded to them in Bellingham. If you're planning to travel to Canada on a regular basis, the commute from Seattle is about two to two and a half hours, again, depending on traffic versus the travel time from Bellingham to the Canadian border only being about 20 minutes. Uh, my wife and I actually were just up earlier this week to go to a concert up at Rogers Arena. We left our home around 4.45 p.m. We were downtown Vancouver just about six o'clock, had a quick dinner at 6.15, 6.30. We're to the concert venue at 7.30. It was smooth, it was quick, it was easy. So if Canada is a piece of the puzzle for you as you're considering a move to this area, Bellingham would definitely take the cake in this particular instance. And if you're looking specifically in the area as to be in proximity to the Canadian border, well then we may even want to explore Blaine, Washington as an option for you as you consider where you'd like to be. Number nine on our list is the category of education. Now it's no surprise
surprise uh, that Seattle, of course, is going to take first place in terms of variety, options, university size, etc. We've got the University of Washington located in Seattle. We have Seattle University. We have Seattle Pacific University. So there's a lot going on in terms of college level education at a very high caliber throughout Seattle as a whole. Here in Bellingham, we have Western Washington University. We have the Bellingham Technical College, and we also have Whatcom Community College, uh, which again is going to pale in comparison to the number of community college options that are available to you in Seattle. So if the main purpose for your move is education, education or perhaps it's employment within the field of education, well, Seattle is definitely going to have more options and opportunities for you specific to this category. All right, so last on our list, category 10 is what we're going to regard as community and lifestyle. Now, this really just brings us full circle back to the beginning, talking about the population size in Seattle, compare and contrast to Bellingham. So again, 750,000 in Seattle, 90,000 in Bellingham. It's likely that if you buy a home and move into a neighborhood in Seattle, it could be a stretch of time before you meaningfully connect with the people that live around you. Sure, you might meet your neighbors on either side, maybe across the street, uh, but it may be a stretch of time before you're meeting people who live a couple blocks away. You might go to your local grocery store and not ever run into anyone that you know, versus if you're living in Bellingham, a lot of people would say that it's hard for them to leave the house without coming across someone that they know, whether that's at the grocery store or the park, grabbing coffee. And then particularly if you're going to local events, things like Ski to Sea, maybe Downtown Sounds that happen in the summer months, well then you're all but guaranteed to run into two to three to five, seven some odd people that you know. So that's really what it's uh, ultimately about. If you wanna be in a bigger city with more going on, with more hustle and bustle, you don't mind some of the, what could be considered negatives with regards to traffic, congestion, etc. then Seattle is likely the spot for you. Compare and contrast if you're looking for something that's a little bit more low low key, a little bit more laid back, and where there are more opportunities to plug in perhaps more quickly to the local community, well then Bellingham might be the right spot for you. Hey, as always, I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that it's been helpful to you. I encourage you one last time to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with any questions that you might have. Uh, one final reminder that you can download that free relocation guide. We've gotten great feedback on it. It's uh, a very helpful tool to help you to continue to explore the Bellingham area. Uh, but again, for now, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Look forward to seeing you again soon.